Hey internet, it is nearly winter, which means it is time for poor lighting again. It also means that it is time to do my November obsessions because November is basically over. So what was I obsessed with this month? Well, first of all, let's start with the YouTube series Fun Science that Charlie McDonald is doing. I love nearly everything that Charlie does, but this is particularly something that is close to my heart. So he's been working on a book, the fun science book, which is basically kind of science for non-scientists to get people interested in it. And Charlie himself is not a scientist, but I've had the chance to look at the book in the store and I've enjoyed it a lot. I actually haven't gotten it yet. I really want to get it so bad, but I haven't. Ugh, I'm so sad. Anyway, as a companion to that book, he's been making a web series, like a really well done web series of just different little science things. And it's just so well done. Like you see a lot of science stuff that is very educational, but this one is clearly just someone who loves science making a series about science to try to get other people to love science. And if I was going to be making a series, I think I'd want to do that as well. I mean, it's obviously educational, but it's also just really enjoyable to watch. I think that the second episode, which is the one about Pluto, is so well done because it's witty and it's sassy, but it's also got a lot of heart to it. Obviously, I'm a bumbling idiot about this because I like it so much, but yeah, you should go over and check out Charlie's series, Fun Science, on his channel. In the podcast world, a podcast that I have been listening to nonstop is the podcast Millennial. And whenever I tell somebody about this podcast, I'm like, I know, it's called Millennial, groan, roll your eyes, get that over with. And the point of this podcast is that it is a narrative story about the life of this girl who just graduated from college and she wanted to go into doing radio production. She worked as an intern for Radio Lab for a while, which is another podcast that I really enjoy. And she's just kind of talking about how to navigate her 20s. Actually, that's part of the tagline for the podcast. I found it to be really interesting because it is. It's very honest and true and it makes me think about a lot of the things that I'm dealing with in my life. And it's just... I don't know. I like to listen to it. It makes me feel a lot of things. Like, a whole lot of things. It's also inspired me a lot to think about things and, and think about things that I want to create in the future. So I really enjoy listening to it and I've just started listening to kind of the second season and it sounds like she's gonna start telling some other people's stories so I'm really excited about that and I'm excited to keep listening to it. Like nearly the entire internet or basically what it seems like right now, I am obsessed with Gilmore Girls this month. I had never watched Gilmore Girls growing up. I'm not exactly sure why. It kind of just wasn't the type of show that I was super into, but there's been a lot of hullabaloo about the show lately as this new uh, season or whatever it is has come out on Netflix. And I was like, you know what? All of these people are talking about how good it is. I'm gonna have to check it out. And I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. I've been basically watching the show as much as I possibly can whenever I'm not doing anything else and a lot of times when I should be doing other things. I have talked to several people about it and it's a very mixed reaction. Either you love it or you hate it. I have several friends who really don't like the show because they think that they talk too fast and it's just they don't like the characters. I'm on the other side of things. The fast and witty dialogue is exactly what I love about the show. I like the characters. I just really enjoy it a whole lot. I am on season three. I watched two episodes today. Two? Maybe three. I don't know. That's a very light day for me. I know that it's been lots and lots of years since it came out and I shouldn't get mad if I see any spoilers, but I really don't want to see any spoilers. What side of the coin do you fall on? Have you seen Gilmore Girls? And if you have, did you like it or did you really not like it? I'm very curious. It seems very split. <laughs> Obviously, I have a look going on right now. I decided to try to go as full-on 90s as I could today for this video because that is another obsession. And I try really hard to not put any sort of like makeup or fashion-y things in these obsession videos because that's not really what I want them to be about and I know nothing about those topics. But the like 90s style that has come back into fashion lately is something that I've just slowly found seeping into my everyday like what I want to look like and without even realizing it and more so than a lot of other fads have and it's just so funny to me because like I'm totally a 90s kid 
and it's not at all surprising that this is something that I would like, but I'm really digging it. I bought this dress that I'm wearing that is very 90s. I'm really into the choker look. I'm a 25 year old person and I really am not sure if maybe this is like the best thing for me to be looking like right now, but I'm digging it and so that's what it's gonna be. I'm also evidently really obsessed with rambly videos this month. What is going on? As you guys know, if you've watched any of these Obsessions videos, I always end with some sort of overarching idea for the month, some sort of concept that I was obsessed with, but I really feel like November has kind of been me holding my breath. <laughs> I kind of feel like I've been stuck in this holding pattern where I've been going to school and I've been going to work, and yeah, we had Thanksgiving and that was really nice, but I feel like there's not a whole lot of things that have been happening and changing. I did take my biology praxis test and I passed that, so like, I know enough biology to be a teacher, but I don't know, it just, it hasn't been a super eventful month from the aspect of like new things happening, things that aren't routine. But I just feel like I've just been kind of going through the motions. And I guess that's okay sometimes, that's not really something that I like, I feel like if I'm not doing anything new, I'm not growing, but you know, it's alright. Every once in a while, you just need a status quo month. <laughs> Obviously, as you saw from the Thanksgiving video, I've hung out with several of my older friends. I have hung out with my family and all of that's been good. I'm very, very, very much looking forward to this next month and the holiday events. Uh, Christmas is definitely my favorite holiday and I enjoy all of the crazy things that go into it. So you will be seeing me a whole lot over the next month as I attempt to do Vlogmas and make a video every day I am really excited about it. I have a couple guests that are going to be making vlogs for me, so that should be fun. And yeah, I'm, I'm just planning a bunch of little things. I hope you are as excited about it as I am. Let me know down in the comments if there was anything you were obsessed with during the month of November so that I can get obsessed with it during the month of December. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.